Hello, we've got a couple problems here. Let's do two in this video. Uh, really what we're trying to answer is how many employees to hire uh, might be phrased as the profit maximizing number of employees to hire. Um, either way, you're going to have to use what's called the hiring rule. And the hiring rule says that I'm going to hire workers up until the value of the marginal product of labor equals the wage, Okay, which is another way of saying marginal revenue equaling marginal cost. It's a theme throughout microeconomics. Okay, so in the first one, we've got wages here. We're going to pay the workers 100 rupees per uh, whatever unit of time they're using in this problem. Uh, we've got labor is the number of employees. Marginal product of labor is the additional amount of work that each uh, employee does. And then uh, the value of that labor. So we could actually figure out what the price is here. It's a price of four rupees because each worker is um, bringing in whatever their marginal product of labor is times four to get to that. Okay, so what you can do is actually, um, if you want to slow it down, you can say to yourself, do I want to hire each worker? So the value of the first worker is 32. Um, the wage is uh, 100, not really. But if I look down here on the second one, uh, the second worker does bring in a profit. So I actually do want to hire the second worker. In order to hire the second worker, I got to hire the first worker. And the third worker, the fourth worker, and the fifth worker, these are negative. Uh, I don't want to hire the third worker because they only bring in 64 rupees and I have to pay them 100 rupees. So the answer is no, and I'll just copy no right there. So number of employees to hire in that first problem is uh, two, okay, because that's the last worker where uh, the value of the marginal product of labor is higher than, than that. Let's just see one thing. I'm going to lose 60, $68 on the first worker and only gain 28 I, You know, I may not even want to hire any of these workers. I might want to get out of this one in the long run anyway. so. But according to the rule, I'm going to hire two workers. Okay, this other one I have to fill it in based on this chart. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, total production is another way of saying quantity. Let's make these in the middle. Okay, so uh, 0, 14, 22, 28, 32, and 35. Uh, here, I don't really care about that, so it's not applicable. Uh, I want to go, the total product is the difference between here and here, divided by the difference between here and here, but this is always going to be 1, so I'll just leave that for today. And copy that guy right down there. I got the same thing as the, as the problem here. Alright, it says the price of the product is $4, so I'm going to multiply 4. Actually, let's write this. Watch this. Let's go price. And I'm going to put in the price right here. So I get this times this. And then I, I don't want that cell to change. So I'm going to put dollar signs in front of it. It'll lock that cell in to whatever price I gave. So we'll go right down here. Uh, wage is $20. So $20 for each worker. This one's a little more straightforward. Um, so do I want to hire the worker? You can. Um, you can, I'll just do them in green here. Do I want to hire the first worker? Value of their marginal product of uh, labor is higher, so yeah. I'm going to make a profit on that guy, make a profit on that person, and then these two, I don't want to hire those. So the right answer here would be three. I want to hire three workers. Um, the reason that we did that that way is let's say the, pro the price went down to two. And I can just change the price there. Didn't change the productivity at all. And then I know, oh, uh, I wouldn't hire the second and third worker. Or if the price went up to five, I can change it right there. And now I'm going to hire a fourth worker. Okay, so if you write your cells and your functions that way, uh, then you don't have to change a whole lot. But anyway, always follow the hiring rule when answering these types of questions.